demonstrate how you would examine the abdomen of a pregnant woman on the mannequin. Address any conversation you would have with a pregnant woman to the mannequin. Hello, my name is Sayuri Marcel. I'm a medical student. Can I ask your name? Today, I would like to perform an abdominal examination for you. At times, this may involve pressing quite deeply, but gently, on your abdomen. I will attempt to make the examination as pain-free as possible. If, however, it's very uncomfortable at any point, please say. To commence the examination, I will firstly expose the patient's abdomen, having obtained her permission to do so. The first step is that of inspection. I will be looking for linea nigra, striae gravidarum, old caesarean or other surgical scars. In palpation, there are six steps that I would like to cover. The first of which is determining the fundal height. In performing this maneuver, I will palpate with the inner aspect of my index finger, gently pressing downwards and inwards, feeling for the very first point of resistance. This will coincide with the uterine fundus. So as to reduce bias, I will use my measuring tape on the non-centimeter side. I will place the tip of the tape at the fundus, measuring from the variable to the fixed point, which is the symphysis pubis. I will then look at the measurement that I have obtained and it should correlate within two centimeters to the period of gestation for the patient. The next step involves determining the number of fetuses and the lie. To do this, I will palpate laterally by gently fixing one hand on one side of the abdomen, pressing in with the other. I will then alternate my hands, the aim being to determine the curve of the fetal back, whether it lies on the left or the right. At all stages, I will be looking at my patient's face so as to be aware of any pain that I may elicit her. At this stage, I will be able to say whether or not it is a singleton fetus and whether or not the lie is longitudinal. The fourth step, involves feeling the presenting part. This can be quite uncomfortable since it involves very deep palpation and so I will warn my patient accordingly. My first step is to place my thumb and index finger of my right hand just above the pubis symphysis and gently but deeply pressing in for a palatable point of resistance which should coincide with the fetal head or vertex. My aim is to determine whether the majority of the head lies in the abdomen or in the pelvis. As such, I might say it is three-fifths engaged if most of it lies in the abdomen. If very little can be felt, then I would probably say it is about four-fifths or more engaged. My last step is listening to the fetal heart. Having determined which side the fetal back lies on, my aim is to listen between the scapula for the fetal heart rate and to ensure that it is regular. With my penards, I will place over the fetal scapula and listen in, pressing in, as said previously, firmly but very gently. In summarizing my findings, I may indeed say that the fundal height is 33 centimeters, which coincides with the period of gestation, that it is a singleton fetus in a longitudinal lie, cephalic presentation, three-fifths palpable, with the fetal heart being heard and regular. At the end of the examination, I will cover my patient and thank her for allowing me to perform the examination. Thank you.